I envisioned a very, very deep voice. I'm like five for five. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> anyway, is this best of five? I think you literally just said, and I was spacing out. If it's quarters, we do best of five, I guess. We have the time. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely not like Ernest's favorite play matchup, I think. I, he tends to have a bit of trouble with Pinkai for whatever reason. <laughs> Tommy is not dead. Okay. Takes a lot of damage from uh, Villager Throw on the hands. See the edge guard here. Misses the back air. P9 going all the way into the stage. FD pick is also... It's interesting. I think a lot of this match will be played like on or at the ledge. Because uh, P9 can't really challenge the so he just wants to like dip. Ooh. So close to hitting that back air, but nothing coming of it. And it's definitely looking like he has a bit more of a game plan in this set. He's taking it very, very slow, which is really what you want to do against Villager. When you can't out camp him. You can't really. You can rush him down, but that means you're just playing into his game. Still, he hasn't been able to take this stop. And it's very easy for Lucina to just kind of explode. I hope you have a jump. Oh my god. Yeah, he definitely should have died there, but he's still dead anyway. Crazy. Stock one goes to P9, despite not really having a uh, having much of a presence. And Nair sealed it out. Alright, nice juggle situation by Ernest. P9 does manage to land, but uh, tries a little bit too hard to like reversal it in his favor. And yeah, really nice coverage. Okay, back to neutral. Ooh, just run straight up to him when he's uh, when he's watering the tree. Honestly, uh, more people should do that because they just kind of let P9 set up the thing and then uh, and then water it, and you just run into him. He has like no hitbox. He's he's watering. Like, what do you want from him? All right, P9 a couple percent. P9 dead as hell. L only at 71, but you know, down smash, up smash. Could, uh, could solve some problems. Oh, you're dead? You have no jump. So, in spite of this really feeling like uh, P9 hasn't had much of a chance to play the game, it's, uh, it's still even. Crazy. Probably why Ernest does not like this matchup. He jumps there, but uh, P9 not really covering that. Ooh. This is scary. This is not where you want to be. As L. Ooh, great Nair. And he still makes it back though. Digging. He has no jump. You have jumped at the wrong time. That was uh, that was crazy. What I really liked about that last stop was uh, 
P9 started grabbing. He started realizing he was letting Ernest get away too much with the uh, Holden Shield. And, um, yeah. Just capitalized on it. And it's really scary to do that against Lucina because he grabs really slow. And she's got really, really large buttons. Thanks, Pudge Talks, for the comment. That was a great Dr. Anus impression. What's up? Three, two, uh huh? One, go! Small battlefields. Probably pretty good for Ernest. I think P9 doesn't mind the stage either. Nice little air dodge there. He was definitely dead if he didn't do that. Just takes a couple for the uh, for the culture. All right, this really should be not too difficult. For this. We'd like to see him stay on stage a little bit more against Billy. Uh, the character really doesn't have that many good options off ledge, especially against uh, like Marco Cena. You can just kind of forward tilt. And, uh, the ledge can't really like you can't get around that very well. Nice, that was a really well spaced man. Going through the tree, beating out the Lloyd. Killing uh killing P9 there. Could be a good stock there for P9, but um, just wasn't quite ready to cover L going super low. Still, it's looking like he's got a bit more momentum here. Nice. Not great DI there from Ernest. Uh, definitely could have lived. But, you know, be like that sometimes. Going for the roll behind grab at zero. Uh, look. I respect it, kind of. And for some reason, I'm feeling kind of scared for L here. Still keeps his jump. Great up B. Just invincible link through the, uh, through the village edge out there. And... Not dead. That'll be it. Good old... Trusty Nair. That's like the same situation happened twice uh, for both, both stocks there. P9 just kind of like pulling a Lloyd when he's in the corner. Oh my god. Dude, how does he do it? It's just like, it looks so bad for him. And then he just turns it around with a really quick kill. No jump here. L, just letting him have ledge. Goes for the Nair again. This time, uh, not quite working out. A little bit too slow. D9 has been on point with these down tilt tech chases. Uh, just always checking out. I would really like to see him not be hit by these Nairs after doing the work. Oh my god. Nice grab, again. Sort of like game three, he just brings the grabs out. Or, uh, stop three, rather. And, dude, why am I so scared of this here? Like, this shouldn't be close. Oh my god! I have no idea how that down smash is. The future is not written. How did he land on stage there? There was no stage, there was nothing. P9 
you know what? Could be worse. Could pay nine. You going alright? You going alright? Sorry? Yeah, he's broke. You're welcome, Pazix. Nine's counter Will we see a Lilat or a... Oh, yeah, we do see a Lilat. I'm a genius. Probably the most annoying thing about this matchup for Villager. Um, as a experienced Villager secondary in Smash 4, I mean, played this matchup, is that Lucina just fucking runs straight under all your shit. So she's like, fake tall. You are dead. To be honest, I was like trying to process, uh, trying to process what Jack put in Twitch chat rather than like looking at the screen. And that took most of my brain power. So I didn't actually see how he died aside from like slingshot. Ooh, no jump, but he's completely fine here. Does let P9 get back to stage, which is not what you want from an edge guard. And yeah, I feel like this is like... I don't know, this is where someone like Elf can get a little bit safer. Playing as a zoner. The spike to up will take it out though. D throw strong fair, weak fair, strong fair. Held in looks true to the edge. Yeah, fair enough. The answer is like really weird because there's some percents where you should hold it. Um, nice. But yeah, like sometimes you should hold out, sometimes you should hold in. It's really like hard to know a lot of the time, especially in the moment. Okay. Even game, despite the early stock of Pain Island, feels like a reverse of the last game. For the last couple of games. Where else had got out to a lead and then P9's brought it back. Been a bit of the opposite here. Ooh, risky jump there, but makes it back. And, ooh, nice up smash. Just catching the roll in. Clean. Clean as. Hell's not gonna be happy with that one. Oh my god, what is happening? Definitely got away with a second lease on life there. That is dead, yeah. Just goes for the Dancing Blade. All hits. Very punishable. Good stuff, P9. Nice little up B out, but... Ooh, and again. Yeah. Good DI there from L. Just kind of mixing up P9. Thought he'd go straight up. And... He spaced his, uh, his up air a little bit. Could have been really, really big for P9, actually. Ooh, does take in there for once. L was definitely looking for the roll out. Dude, it just feels like they're scrapping. Like, this this matches completely like the roll. I don't think either player knows what's going on. What is, why did he grab in the wrong direction? Okay, nice grab from Ernest. Faking out on these edge guards. Let's see if we can get this this ledge trap. Just up smashes the uh, 
The risky fair. What's up? Patrick Elliott praying for the Tom Dub. So true. That's pretty true. But yeah, I mean, I don't think that game necessarily went bad for P9. Would have liked to maybe see a little bit more composure. Ninja back up to feet. Does he have a green ninja? He had a wolf. He had lost a one for all. So I wouldn't be a. Uh, I wouldn't be too excited about it. Game four. P9, no jump. Still makes it back. The Lloyd to directional air dodge is like so good. Alright. Stuff's happening. Nine on the nares. Not really working out for him though. Oh, the Connor. Absolute classic. Just going for damage though, because uh, unlike Roy, Lucina doesn't have a cross slash. Yeah, it feels like uh, P9 maybe trying a little bit too hard to hit Ernest here. Which I guess is like, you're down a game, set point. You sort of need to make something happen, but... Nick, can you cover stream desk while I go pick up my food? Sure. I'll be jumping off to do stream stuff.